the longest bridges in the world. Bridges are easily among the most impressive architectural and construction projects in the world. They've long been celebrated for their ability to help humans overcome geographical barriers and cut travel time significantly, and they've continued to aid our travel from one point to the other. However, while bridges are undoubtedly an impressive concept, there is a definite disparity between them. There's an ancient adage that says fingers aren't equal, and trust me, that adage definitely extends to bridges as well. While most bridges you see can span an average of about 7,000 feet, there are those that literally push the boundaries of length and span even more distances. In this video, we'll take you through some of the longest bridges in the world and explain just how they came to be. Sheikh Jaber Al Ahmad Al Saber Causeway. I know it's a bit of a mouthful to pronounce, but bear with me. The Sheikh Jaber Al Ahmad Al Saber Causeway is a bridge located in the Middle Eastern country of Kuwait. Partly funded by China, the bridge was built as part of China's ambitious Belt and Silk Initiative that seeks to position China as the epicenter of world trade. And this project requires a massive infrastructure project that would essentially connect the country to many others in the world. Essentially, the Sheikh Jaber Al Ahmad Al Saber Causeway is Kuwait's ticket to the Belt and Road Party. The bridge crosses the Bay of Kuwait, and it is made of two links. The first will connect Kuwait City with the brand new Silk City, while the second will connect Kuwait City to Qatar's capital city of Doha. Combined, the entire causeway spans 30.1 miles in distance and cost its developers just a smidge over $3 billion. The bridge took six years to build, and its development required over 22,000 workers from an estimated 20 countries. Officially inaugurated in 2019, the Sheikh Jaber Al Ahmad Al Saber Causeway isn't necessarily just one bridge. Instead, it combines different bridges, viaducts, and embankments, while a cable bridge is also present to allow for the free passage of vehicles underneath it. Interestingly, the government of Kuwait also built two artificial islands to house tourists who are looking to get a better glimpse of the causeway. The island comes with administrative buildings, an amusement park, a mosque, and other infrastructure. And there are also artificial reefs that were constructed to ensure that the marine life underneath the bridge would be able to thrive away from it. The Sheikh Jaber Al Ahmad Al Saber Causeway comes with six lanes of traffic in total, with three lanes traveling in each direction. There is also an additional lane on each side for emergency use, you know, in case the king or any member of the royal family needs a quick ride. So far, the causeway has played a major role in Kuwait's economic development and urban development. And by cutting time from Kuwait City to several other major cities in the Middle East, this bridge has truly been a boost to the region. The Achafalaya Basin Bridge. Not many bridges can hold a legitimate claim to being the longest in the United States. But if there ever was one that could do that, it'd be the Achafalaya Basin Bridge. Also known as the Louisiana Airborne Memorial Bridge, this humongous structure stretches across the Atchafalaya Basin in Louisiana. It is part of the Interstate 10 Highway, and it covers a distance of about 18.2 miles. It connects the cities of Baton Rouge and Lafayette, essentially crossing the largest swamp and wetland in the United States. Despite the fact that it started in 1971 and opened in 1973, it remains one of the longest bridges in the country easily making transport in that region much faster. Records show that the bridge cost close to $100 million in total, and that includes a widening that occurred back in 2017, connecting the Interstate 49 and Interstate 50 roads. The design of the Atchafalaya Basin Bridge is incredible. It involves several short trestles that are intertwined with longer waterways. It is a bi-directional bridge, meaning that you get one lane in either direction, processing travel from one end of the bridge to the other. As a crucial part of I-10, the Atchafalaya Basin Bridge forms an incredibly important part of travel between the East Coast and the West Coast. It facilitates both personal and commercial transportation, bolstering both economic activity and emergency infrastructure in the region. Considering that this region is especially prone to hurricanes, the bridge has become one of the most critical evacuation routes in the event of natural disasters. Since it was designed to withstand extreme weather events, the bridge is always accessible to anyone at any time. The Donghai Bridge. Our next entry is the Donghai Bridge. Started in 2002 and completed in 2005, the bridge is counted among the longest sea-crossing bridges in the world, with a length of about 
20.2 miles, the bridge remains a major connecting link between mainland Shanghai and the offshore Yangshan Deepwater Port. It has helped to improve Shanghai's port infrastructure considerably. And as we all know, Shanghai remains one of the most economically important cities in China today. The Donghai Bridge has a characteristic S-shape, which means that it bends in accordance with the shape of the sea, instead of bending against it. This design element helps to protect aquatic life over the East China Sea, ensuring that the bridge is both functional and eco-friendly. According to reports, the Donghai Bridge was built with the use of box girders, cable stays, and an arch. The bridge's design helps it to hold its own against factors such as corrosive seawater, high winds, and an incredibly strong current. Besides all of this, the highest point on the bridge stands at about 205 feet above sea level. This means that large vessels will easily be able to pass under it without any stress, while the developers installed comprehensive monitoring systems to ensure that the bridge is always tracked to ensure proper structural integrity. Hey, the last thing you want is for someone to get stranded on this long bridge for sure. Interestingly, while the bridge is primarily an infrastructural project, it's also sparked the development of offshore wind farms along its route. It's been used to help start wind power generation in the East China Sea, and several installations have been implemented across several other bridges all across China. With an overall cost of about $1.1 billion, this will definitely go down as one of the most effective bridges in the world, even though it's definitely not the longest on record. Changhua Kaohsiung Viaduct when you think about Taiwan, you probably think about semiconductors and their decades-long battle for autonomy from China. But while these guys might not necessarily be known for their infrastructure, they definitely struck gold with the Changhua Kaohsiung Viaduct. The bridge, which is part of Taiwan's national high-speed rail network, spans about 97.8 miles in length. It was built between 2000 and 2007, and it was conducted specifically to accommodate the needs of Taiwan's high-speed trains. With these trails being able to travel as fast as 186 miles an hour, the bridge had to be reinforced properly. This reinforcement allows the bridge to handle things like the demands of high-speed rail, as well as the population of the urban areas it passes, unpredictable weather, and active fault lines. It's no wonder the entire bridge cost a reported $20 billion to build. Just as well, the Changhua Kaohsiung Viaduct incorporates a seismic design that allows it to withstand Taiwan's frequent earthquakes without having to delay travel. And noise barriers were installed around some of the densely populated areas that the bridge passes to ensure that any noise generated by high-speed rail lines can easily be accommodated. With the viaduct's ability to reduce travel times across the country, it has been expanded over the years to become one of the epicenters of travel across Taiwan. The viaduct has been credited with improving Taiwan's economy, but even without any of that, you've got to admit that it's an impressive feat of architecture. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge is a marvel of engineering. Spanning an astonishing distance of 102.4 miles in length, it is by far the longest bridge in the world. The bridge was officially inaugurated back in 2011, and since then, no other bridge in existence has so far been able to usurp its throne as the lengthiest bridge in the world. A part of the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Rail Project, the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge was constructed in just four years, but those four years included grueling work that was done to make sure that this bridge was brought to life. All in all, about 10,000 workers worked round the clock on the project, and the project pretty much never stopped from the start date until it was finally completed. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge crosses the low-rise paddies of the Yangtze River Delta, with a few miles of it also crossing the open waters of the Yanchen Lake. In general, the bridge stands about 100 feet off the ground, crossing different distances that would have been otherwise uncrossable due to the massive river length between them. The overall cost for the bridge was about $8.5 billion, but I think it's safe to say that this was money well spent. To understand the magnitude of this bridge, consider this. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge covers two major sections. The Danyang section, which measures about 52 kilometers in length, and the Kunshan section, which measures about 113 kilometers in length. The bridge also comes with a clearance that measures about 150 kilometers. Official figures indicate that the bridge has about 2,000 steel cables and pillars that help to suspend it over water and hold its weight. The bridge's impressive build makes it easy for ships to pass through underneath, while still connecting different points and easing transportation over the Yangtze River Delta region. The bridge also helps to connect the cities of Hangzhou and Nanjing, 
reducing the traveling time between the two cities from about four hours to just a little over an hour. And the structure of the bridge was designed to hold its own against natural disasters, such as typhoons and earthquakes. If these bridges have shown anything, it's that there really is no limit to human ingenuity. And with their work to help reduce travel significantly, they are just the latest in a long line of architectural marvels to truly astonish us. What do you think about these bridges, though? Let us know in the comments.